Lyme disease is a really complicated condition that the CDC is telling us affects 300,000 people every year and we need a lot of help. It's an area that doesn't have a lot of understanding. Somebody should attend because it's a, a chance to make a really big impact in a disease that's been kind of underlooked and under-researched for 30 years. It's a chance to really make a contribution to sick patients um, and to doctors who need better tools to diagnose Lyme disease. The Lyme Disease Hackathon is an opportunity for people from all different parts of this problem, different stakeholders, to come together and try to solve the problems of prevention, diagnostics, rehabilitation, and treatment. My name is Carrie Lang, and I am the mental health counselor with the Dean Center for Tick-Borne Illness. The problem our group is addressing is a lack of awareness and support for mental health issues related to Lyme and tick-borne illness. Patients presently don't have a voice and they feel isolated and disenfranchised. Anxiety, depression, and suicide ideation are all too common within this community, and I'm sure a lot of you here today can agree with me. Every hacking process begins with pitching. Participants come up on stage and tell to everybody else in just one minute the challenge they want to work on for the rest of the weekend. Then they go out and mingle. They talk to people they've never met before, find people with diverse backgrounds, completely different than theirs, and they form teams around the challenge they each want to work on. After that, they start hacking. They continue to iterate on their ideas, and at the end, they present the proposals. Teams are going to be competing for up to five prizes of $5,000 each. project uh, for me personally I have chronic Lyme disease and one of the challenges I face is tracking my symptoms day to day. We're working on a patient symptom and treatment tracking application where the patient can easily enter data around their symptoms and treatment protocols and then share that information with their doctor as well as insights that we can draw from that data. You know this may be a uh, intravenous administration, you know, we're, we're all from UMass. Uh, half of us are from the Stephen Rich Lab. They study tick-borne illnesses, ticks, you know, Borrelia. This is not nothing new to them. And then the other half of us work with the Plant Cell Culture Library. And what we do is we try and elicit the natural defense responses of these plants. Right now, we have treatments for Lyme, but there's still so many problems. There's so many vulnerabilities. In a hackathon, you want to bring those cracks to the light. So I decided to come to Boston for a Lyme disease hackathon because I actually strongly believe that an interdisciplinary team could solve a lot of the world's issues. So I was like, well, I'm an electrical engineer. I could possibly um, apply some of my skill sets to this problem and possibly come up with a new way or something different that these doctors who have already been seeing this all the time haven't thought about. And then actually the point that I, that I tried But OK, I get it. Because if the voltage is the same, then yes. We are interested in promoting Lyme disease prevention in children and we have a tick bite precaution program entitled Feel Fine Free. We're mostly concentrating on how to make it more user friendly and how to implement it. What's really, really valuable in this uh, hackathon is the ability to bring individuals from different backgrounds together to offer their perspective and their expertise. While we aren't there yet, that is we are right on the cusp, we're about to tip over, and we want to bring Borrelia into that next stage with us. That's all the time we have, thank you. We were passionate about our idea. We're excited to hear that other people in the Lyme community are excited about this technology and we're really looking forward to moving it forward through September. I want to see Lyme become mainstream and part of, uh, of the next generation of scientific discovery with precision medicine. Ready?